FFmpeg, a tool for audio and video. FFmpeg is a complete cross-platform solution to record, convert, and stream audio and video. It's a really great tool. In this video, I'll show you how to convert and compress videos. I've already installed FFmpeg on my Mac. You can take a look here. But before we compress anything or convert anything, we need to understand how big the video is and how long it is to get a better grasp as to how to compress it. To show you what I mean, I made a mistake earlier. And let's take a look at that. Yeah, audio is terrible and the video is clearly terrible. I tried to deflate the video to about 50% and that did not work. So let's do it correctly this time. First, let's find out how big the video is. All right, about 400 megs. And it's also in the MOV format, and I don't want the MOV format. I want MP4, and I'm pretty sure I can cut this down to about half size. Next, let's find out how long the video is. We'll do Media LS, and I'm going to specify the name of the item I want, which is Media Item, and this is going to be duration in seconds. Oops. For John. Yeah. It's about 310 seconds and you can calculate that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and cheat. Do 310 divided by 60 seconds. And I'm going to pipe my basic calculator. All right, so 5 minutes. Cool. So let's go ahead and compress the video. I'm going to specify FFmpeg and I'm going to call my input John, and then I'm going to specify my byte size. I'm going to do this correctly this time, 50 megs, and then I'm going to do for my bytes, my kilobytes, and now I need my output, right? I'm going to call it corrected compress, and let's specify mp4 for our file format. So this is going to take some time, yeah, a couple minutes. I see I have my frame rate here, and this is frame rate from, you know, zero to the end of the video. My FPS, this will go up and down, depending on how fast your, your uh, processor is and your graphics card. I have my size, my total size, and my time signature as to where I am in the video. So I'm about 30 seconds in to a five minute long video. And here's my bit rate. So I'm going to speed this video up and show you the result. All right, we're finished. If you're familiar with Compressor for the Mac, then you know how tough it is to get an MP4 out, you know? You either have to create your own profile in Compressor or, you know, you just go online and use some sort of processor online. Okay, let's take a look at the video. Yeah. Very clean. Very good. Audio sounds good. Video's great. Let's take a look at the size. Great. So we see we have our MP4 and it's about half the size. Well, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more.